Alright, so today I'm going to be playing Doom Episode 2. I've switched to GZ Doom just because there are some nice mods out there that I feel like more people should know about. So the first mod I've added is Blood Fixer. What this does is it makes Caco Demons have blue blood and Hell Knights and Barons have re uh, green blood, just like their sprites do when they die. I also added the Graveyard mod, which will show you where I've died. It persists across save files and reloads and all that. So that's a pretty neat mod for if you want to just see where you failed. It's pretty neat. Then I'm using id clever starter, which is the number one way to pistol start, in my opinion. It will pistol start you on every map and doesn't do much else. Pretty neat mod. And there's level info, which tells me about my secret count and my kill count without me having to open the auto map. But yeah, that's about all that I've got installed here. These other ones are crossed out because I'm not using them. Okay, let's get into it. Alright, here's E2M1, Dimos Anomaly. Pretty neat. Let's start off by getting a shotgun. Alright, now that we've got a shotgun and maybe need some more shells actually. Convenient shotgun guy there. I'm mainly going for that shell box that's on the other side there with the armor this bridge falls down when you cross it but if you don't if you cross it by like cutting corners here like I do then it won't fall good for avoiding damage on that hurt floor all right let's get rid of these guys be careful that area under the cross is a hurt floor and that's how I got damaged there all right let's collect us some bullets and get the blue key Alrighty, this switch will reveal actually two switches. The second one's a little bit hard to find. It has the red key behind it. And what the first switch did is open up a teleporter back at the beginning of the map over by the blue key. Oh, got damaged again. And here's our first Kako Demon. And we get our first plasma gun as well. I'm not going to use it just yet. It's a bit of a waste on these few enemies. Okay, let's move on. And we can finally get rid of the bridge there. Don't need it. We'll shoot some of these guys in advance, but for the most part I'm going to use plasma on them. This wall opens up for a secret. I'm going to press that wall as well which will lower the pinkies towards me. And the rest of these will go towards a Kakodamon later in the level. Well, the rest, of, the rest of my cells, that is. Some zombies behind this red door, and it's another secret because the red key was a secret. Although you can't really miss the red door, so I'm not sure what that's about. I tried to avoid the hurt floor there by watching my animation, but it didn't work out. Let's start some mid fighting and kill the Kako. Perfect. We've even got some leftover for the other Kako demon. Alright, let's raise up the stairs. Get some health back. Not that it matters, this level's really easy. And final Kako demon. but not final enemy, because there's an imp here. Alright, we're done. Here's E2M2, containment area. First we'll grab the armor. Getting that shotgun is actually really easy. Just press the switch on the wall to my left. And oh boy, this is a giant maze. So pardon me if I miss some imps. Actually, we'll start off by grabbing the gigantic cache of shotgun shells that is over here somewhere. Right here. Just walk up to it, and it lowers. Let's see. Ah, there they are. There was also a berserk over here, which we will use. 
because why not? Never hurt anyone to use Berserk. Beautiful. Also some imps in this little nook here. I'm chipping all of them today. Don't think I missed you. Also some imps on this side of the fence. We'll pick up that armor, because why not? We, def we definitely don't need it, but it can't hurt. This here is the yellow door. We'll have to come back here later. It is not one, not two, but three secrets. Let's make sure we killed all the imps in the beginning area. Nope. And there are definitely more over here, as well as me. a couple punches there. Alright, I believe that they are all dead now. And we're back to max health. Let's begin going through the real part of the level. More imps. And there is a lost soul here. I believe that that I've patched GZ Doom in the right way that he doesn't count, but he still does. So we have to deal with him. There's also a chainsaw secret that we'll have to kill all the lost souls at because thank you, GZ Doom. I may switch back to PR Boom for episode three. Just depends on how much I can tolerate the lost souls counting towards the kill count because it is very annoying. We're going to follow the pattern on the ceiling here to get to the yellow key. We've also made a lot of imps very angry. It could take up to five hits to kill a pinky, by the way. You're very unlucky if it takes five, though. Let's grab this secret here, because why not? This place is absolutely loaded with secrets, by the way. You'll see 12 down at the bottom there. Alright, let's start using our shotgun, because we have too many shells, and they gotta go somewhere. Let's go in here. Grab more armor, and start killing stuff. Over by the plasma gun. For some reason, this plasma gun counts as a secret. Do not ask me why. I have no clue. Thank you, Imp. So that's actually a one-time switch that I pressed there, but if you press this switch in here, it will go down permanently. It's good for co-op if you have the plasma gun there. These are always the three Imps that I forget about if I have forgotten enemies by the end. Let's see, there are a bunch in this crusher hallway, but they should die pretty easily. Most of them died to the crushers. Now we are going to try not to grab the chainsaw here. Okay, well we turned the lights on, but we didn't open the doors. Alright, fine. And we'll preserve punch all the all the lost souls in here. They are very annoying and they deserve it. I don't know any lost soul advocates out there, so. And we'll punch more, because why not? It's fun. Alright, another secret here is a soul sphere. If you step in this triangle corner, the other side will open up with a soul sphere. You actually only have one chance to get that, so be quick. And we'll punch the specter, or chainsaw him, whichever one we have at hand. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to avoid grabbing the chainsaw, by the way. 
Now we have the yellow key. We grabbed it much earlier, so let's go through the two yellow doors. One yellow door is in this area that I never explored. Because this is all that's here. Oh, I got bit. Smart Mickey. And the chain gun here is a secret. And we'll go get three more secrets over here. So what we do is we just press all three switches in here and get the enemies out. So very fine. You deserve every single punch. One, two, three secrets for a rocket launcher and some ammo. Very strange, but you know, we'll take it. Alright, I'm definitely super kitted out for the remaining enemies here. Let's go for the other triple secret in this level. Yes, there are two. This, for some reason, counts as a secret. This backpack here. Might as well rocket launcher since we have it out. This wall here will open up and reveal more enemies. And it is another secret. This wall here will open up and reveal not a secret, because this wall is a secret. There we go, that's all 12 secrets. Kind of ridiculous how many there are. Alright, and let's exit the level. Two more imps in this area. That will raise the bridge. By the way, you can actually press that switch from the outside if you get in the moat and get the right angle there. Bit of a weird behavior. Alright, there is E2M2. Try again. Alright, here's another try. So this is E2M3 Refinery. Definitely a tough start on this level because you don't get any weapons for a while. What I like to do is run through here. Get the imp to invite the other pinky now. Yes, you. Alright, now we'll shoot him. Cool. Alright, and now we can grab the shotgun. Oh, and the backpack. Let's not forget that. Very useful item. Let's get that box of shells if we can. Come on now. Okay. And the shotgun is right here. two more secrets in this room. Here's one of them. And here's the other. You can see you just kind of open it from that side and then from the other side. Alright, now that we have the shotgun, we can go get the chain gun. Let's go through the painful room. I've died many times in here. And there it is, chain gun. Alright, we'll shotgun the Cacker Demon. And the Imp will help us. Thank you, Imp. And the reason I grabbed the backpack first is there are quite a lot of shells in here. We'll get Berserk too. Because that's always a nice item to have. Don't need armor. Let's go. There are three Cacodemons in here, but we will have to take care of them when we have a better weapon. We'll get a plasma gun in a minute. Alright, let's go back through here. 
and fight a Baron. Surprise. With the shotgun. This is Doom after all. And the Imp will help us again, because they are always helpful creatures. Thank you, Imp. I'm sure you did, like, some damage there. There's also a blind pinky in this room. Very cool. He's blind until you step across the door threshold. Grab the blue key. Plasma gun is up there with the health bonuses. So let's circle around and grab that. And also punch this pinky from behind because we can. All right, let's go kill the cacodemons. They deserve it. Why? I don't know, man. Don't ask me. Alright, they're all dead. See? That was much easier than the other way that we could have done that. Very annoying having to kill all the lost souls. Usually I would just try and run past them. Actually, I'd probably still kill them. Lots of lost souls in here. Easy to lose them. Which means it's going to be hard to kill them. Also imps. How did you escape? And you! This is a tricky maze. And that's it. Okay, let's kill the pinky. And there are two secrets in this area. It's actually the last two secrets. One is here. It's a nice rad suit so that we don't die. And here is a soul sphere so we definitely won't die. Let's get our plasma out to kill the caco demon that's over here. I guess whatever else wants to come to visit as well. Alright, and that is all kills and secrets. Alright, here is the Dimos lab. Secrets right there. Nice shotgun for you. You may have heard a pinky wake up in the distance. He's gonna come a long distance to us. But first, let's go, go up here and grab ourselves a secret. It's a nice amount of ammo and a computer map. All we have to do is walk up to this wall here, next to the skull thingy, and we'll reveal some enemies. Yes, in fight the lost souls, this is good. Ouch. Secret. I wonder who will die here. I guess it's the pinky. It's usually the pinky. He has no projectile. Place your bets now. Ah, eh, well, too late. Gecko Demon won by a landslide. As was predicted by the local expert. Alrighty. Let us go in here. Now we're gonna go in here and take a very fast right. The reason is there is a secret there that if you're not fast enough, you'll have to go in a different way. I would show that different way, but the different way is boring, so we're just gonna do it that way. All right, we've woken everything up. Now let's squish. Yes, come get squished. Come on through the crusher. Oh no. That's not where I want you to be. Come on now. Cooperate with me. Are you gonna show up on this side now? No, he's on that side. Oh, come on, Kako Demon. Just be nice. Come 
Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Dude. Seriously. Alright, get in there. Yes! Now we have squished tomato. Alright, that's all I want to do. <coughs> it took a little bit too long, but you know, whatever. It was fun. We're gonna grab ourselves a backpack in here, because if you didn't notice, I ran completely full on shells. Very common problem in Doom. At least the ultimate Doom. Alrighty. Let's continue by shotgunning a Baron. Another classic Doomism. This is a quote unquote test of your dodging skills. Which I guess it suffices for that, but come on. Is it really that hard to dodge a Baron? Just don't get close to him. Alright, I always like to squish the Caco Demons in here. Just because it's fun. I will always squish a Kakadi given the chance. Come on now. Yes. Shoot your projectile. And now we wait for the thing to go down. Here's another one. And three lost souls, I believe. Yep, there they are. Come on, you guys, charge the gecko. Yes. Good idiot. Nope. Not me. I'm watching you. I said not me. Alright, I think they're all dead, actually. Let's come squish the tomato. Come here, buddy. Ow! You know what? For that, you get to go in the second crusher. There you go. So I actually went close to him there to bait him into attacking so that he would stop moving for a second. Oh, the other lost soul wasn't dead. It is now, I guess. It certainly works out in my favor. But we do have to wait. Alrighty. Health doesn't matter at this point because we're going to grab ourselves a secret berserk down here. And we're going to go ahead and use that berserk on some pinkies. If you circle clockwise here, this wall opens up. It doesn't have to be clockwise, just if you cross that section of the moat. We're gonna punch these guys, because it's cool. Hey, how'd you get on my other side? And they're all dead. Very neat. And in case you lost any health here, there's some health bonuses and a supercharge, but we're not gonna bother with it, because we don't need it. Nobody 100%s the item count here. All right, let's go to the weird part of the level, or at least where it starts to get a little weird. Mm. Forgot the blue key. Where is that again? It's up here, isn't it? Could have sworn I got it already. It must be in here. Yeah, I just missed it. That was dumb. We're gonna punch the Baron. You have no say. Ouch, that was a lot of damage. And he's dead. And we're gonna punch these guys too, because we can. Hey! That was a, at least close to a minimum damage punch. That was unfortunate. All right, we're gonna start shooting stuff from now on. But it's always fun to punch out a Baron. Let's go in here, grab ourselves some more shells and awaken some enemies. We'll just start an in fight for both of them. And actually I lied about the whole, you know, no punching thing because we're gonna punch the Kakos. Easily done. Let's shoot these barrels here. Sneak around the corner. 
and grab ourselves some mega armor. Very handy. Next up, we're going to grab this secret here, which is some medkits. We don't need them. Unless we take the 20% damage hits there. That was kind of dumb. Some lost souls in here, so I'm going to get my fists out. There's just not a better way to kill them. In Doom 2, you have the super shotgun. In Doom 1, what do you got? Nothing. You got hands. Might as well use them. Alright, that's all we got to do in that area. Let's go grab ourselves the secret plasma rifle. I'm not sure which imp we woke up, actually, but we're gonna go ahead and take the back route here. Who shot me? How did you shoot me? Alright, let's, uh, get on down. Nope, I said, I said no punching. I have died here before to punching. If, if you had to guess, would you say it was the Barons? Because, yeah, basically it was the Barons. Now let's use this. Not as much fun as, you know, punching, but certainly more interesting than shotgun. Which we are now stuck with. But the imp will help us along. By the way, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe imp's projectile does the same amount of damage as their scratch. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Three more enemies? I believe we're done here. Yeah, there's a pinky here. Alright, if we run across to this side here, a bridge will appear. And if we go back through the teleporter and approach the door, there's also a soul sphere, which we'll get for insurance. And we're gonna punch the imps because we're done. Alright, there you go, E2M4. Here's E2M5. This is where the levels start to get very long winded. This level also houses the secret exit to the secret level. Secret level's kind of dumb, but I'm not one to judge. Get ourselves some shells. Get ourselves some more shells. And let's go upstairs. Shock hunters are here to harass us. By the way, health doesn't really matter here because I'm about to pick up a berserk, so don't worry about me taking damage to that shotgunner or whatever I took damage to. We'll heal up anyway. Alright, and here is a Kakademon and a Pinky, and you know what we do with that particular duo. Ow! That hurt a lot. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Well, that was possibly the worst case scenario. That's okay though, we still left with full health. Kind of surprised actually that we made it out of there. Let's grab the armor here. It's handy. Let's not go into the gigantic area, because there are two barons there and we don't have our plasma rifle yet. Some random imps scattered around here. Now behind this switch is a bunch of pinkies and the switch that will open the secret exit. So we'll have to come back there later. After all, it's going to be the last thing we do. Let's go deal with these imps and press this important switch. That has to do with the plasma rifle, I believe. It'll raise the bridge to it or something. I don't know. People don't pay me to play this level. We're not going to grab that armor, although we might as well, but whatever. There we go. And some zombie men slaughter. Oh, not yet.
Now! Nope. I'm in the totally wrong part of the map. Which is good, frankly, because that means we haven't woken up the other Baron yet. There are like five Barons in this level, by the way. Also, Chainsaw. We have to pick it up for 100% secrets. I know, it's terribly sad. I always open up this door, even though I should know that it opens up to the big open area. But you know, sometimes you just can't help yourself. Actually, we shouldn't leave them to roam free. Let's go kill them. We got them all? I think so. I don't want to get out there too much, because then we'll wake up the barons. Alright, let's go up this little spiral staircase. When you reach the top, you'll hear a door open. And that's got a pinky and a single lost soul. Thought I would start some infighting there, because it'd be fun, but... It's kind of anticlimactic, really. Here's the zombie slaughter. There's the Baron. He's gonna be annoying later. He actually killed me on my last run, just because he jumped me. There's another Baron over here. If you walk up to this cliff, it will reveal a secret area. And there's a caged Baron in here. Very neat, I guess. If you're into caged enemies, then cool. But to me, it's just another Baron. I'm so glad Doom 2 added Hell Knights, because this could have been Hell Knight. Alrighty, we've got the Plasma Rifle. Let's deal with the Imps and the Cacodemon. Although actually, I think the Cacodemon's trying to reach it this, uh, this way. Nope. I was wrong. I'm glad that I was wrong. Alright, there's a secret over this way. Oh, wow, no damage taken. Very nice. Alright, all the way back to the beginning of the level for us. But that's actually a good thing, because now we can kill the barons. First, let's kill the cacodemons first. Though. Usually eight shotgun shells at a distance will kill them. I'm not sure I'm going to do episode 4, guys. I'm just so eager to get to Doom 2. The enemies are so much sicker than these. Alright, there's the Baron's dead. Here's some goodies, I guess. I hear an imp. Actually, I know what that imp is. It's the one with the Baron over in that corridor. That we are about to approach. Let's see. No, we haven't missed anything. Grab this med kit, though. What? Is that a trigger? I guess it is. Not sure what else would have done that. Alright, let's go left. And not chainsaw a pinky, because that is stupid. And an easy way to get bit, by the way. See, much easier and much faster. Minimal damage taken from the shotgunner, very nice. Get some shotgun shells. But we're not going to use them because this is the area with the bear. He was in a good spot this time. Not in a place where he could just insta-kill us like he did last time. Don't worry, that's an outtake. Alright, if we approach the Mega Armor, then we will awaken some pinkies. But that's good for us, because we like to punch. Let's make it interesting and box ourselves in a little bit. This 
This game's easy, so don't worry about it. See, we didn't even really get a scratch. Alright, and I can never remember if there's an enemy at the exit. There is not. Okay, that's the normal exit, but we're gonna take the secret exit now. Because there are... There are things to do. Sorry, I just noticed that the gravestone will put a little eulogy whenever it... Or an obituary, whatever they call it. You know, whenever you walk over it. Let's get that. That's nice. Because we are about to face a crap ton of lost souls. And they are all equally annoying. So, let's clear the pinky room. Just punch him. I don't need to use a weapon, actually, for the rest of this level. I may use the plasma just to make the lost soul area easier, though. I hate lost souls. Four punches, really. Alright, that will reveal the secret exit. It's in here. Let's go ahead and get the plasma ready. Because... Look at this! Isn't it cool? That's all kills, and actually we're about to get the last two secrets. Here's one, and here's two. I don't get it either. Alright, that's E2M5. Thank god. Alright, this is E2M9. We're gonna start off by grabbing the plasma, then going the wrong way. That's okay though. Doesn't really matter all that much. We can dodge the barons, right? We're just testing our skills. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, chainsaw. Neat. Weird that, that they put that in the game. Let's go wake up the cacos. But more importantly, let's grab some ammo. Bail. Actually, that's not bail. We're gonna start an in-fight. I classify these Kakodemons as more dangerous. They will die. Perish! Oh, he was in fighting. Whatever. Yeah, I kind of made this boring, didn't I? Well, let's shotgun the barons. Said every Doom player ever. Just downright boring. Let's grab this. Might as well. Not like we're gonna even get hit, though. And here's the exit, and the also the only secret. And then we're gonna do a dance with the keys. Why? Beats me. There you go. That's the secret level. Weird. All right, here's Halls of the Damned. I don't like this level. I'm not good at it. Let's do it. Let's grab this shotgun, because it's useful. Usually the imp wins, that's kind of ridiculous. Oh no, we're gonna have to pistol the Kako Demon. I missed a rocket. This is my penalty. Okay. We did it. Alright, now we're going to go take some guaranteed damage. Because that's cool, right? Not this, this is Berserk. That's not damage. This is damage. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hooray! But you can minimize it, I guess. I'm gonna grab that med kit later whenever there's multiple barons in this hallway. Yes, this hallway. Let's wake up the pinkies. area. 
I always press that switch, but I don't really know what it does. Probably does something useful, I guess. Oh, I missed the, the night vision goggles. Let's go get those. Interesting how I didn't wake up the Kako demon there. Ouch! That's okay. That's also okay. Well, it's less okay. Alright. There's the night vision goggles. Because we're gonna go tackle this area now. This area sucks. Let's grab this backpack. Yes. Very nice. Get some ammo. Fight another random pinky. This is random pinkies the level, by the way. When you grab this, a door will open up and reveal our friend. Hello, friend. Uh, I should be punching the pinkies, don't, shouldn't I? Alright, there's a door. That door actually has some barons behind it. There's Baron number one. If I get hit, twi hit twice, I'm gonna stop punching the Baron. That's my rule. Nope, no more punching. And we're dead. All right. Let's, let's shoot this guy. It's Halls of the Damned, you know it. And we pistol the Kakodemon because we just don't have a care in the world. There we go. It's unfortunate that we're about to grab Berserk now. Let's grab those shells, why don't we? They're handy. Now we're gonna go take some required damage because that's a fun game mechanic. The only thing you can do is minimize the amount of damage you take there. You can't ever take a net zero. You can take a minimum five. We'll punch the defense this time. In case it wasn't obvious, this is not my first attempt at the level. I died pretty embarrassingly to a Baron. It'll be in the outtake reel. I'm totally gonna remember to make that. Alright, let's go in here and say hello to the Kako Demon. That hit was fine. You know what, let's not punch the Kako Demon because that's a terrible idea. And we dodged right into his little bullet there. But we got some night vision goggles, so now we can go tackle the maze. I hate the maze, so I always get it over early. By the way, here's where I died, to the Baron. Very neat. We'll grab ourselves some armor. Very nice. We will grab ourselves a backpack, which is over here somewhere. There it is. And a random pinky. Where is he? He's so random I don't even remember. There we go. And we'll wake up a Kako. Actually, first we'll wake up a pinky. Kind of did that out of order, but whatever. By the way, this area is normally like close to pitch black. That's why I grabbed the night vision, because, oh my god. Nobody likes pitch black areas, guys. Alright, let's wake up the barons. Yes, multiple. This is Baron number one, say hello. Ouch, that's hit number one, but we got him. Next Baron is where again? I don't even remember. Is he in the hallway? No. I could have sworn there was another Baron. Let's go into the second area of this middle area. That made sense. Yeah. 
health don't matter. I like to go this way because... Who opened the door? I'm just trying to see who opened the door, guys. Oh, well, we woke up the whole cavalry now. There we go. That's what I was going in here for. I guess we might as well actually grab the red key. We are not going to grab that power up because it sucks. Hey, Plasma. Forgot about you. <sighs> Why do I have to kill them? Which is you This is a question directly at you, Grafzol. Why do I have to punch the lost souls? Well, that one almost went terribly. Let's see if we can't find some health. Ah, there's some. It's better than nothing. Which I can't say about Lost Souls. Alright, I think Baron number two is available now. Yes? No? Maybe so? More health, maybe? Yeah, we'll take that one. Well, in any case, we have totally cleared out the maze, so that's nice. That's always good news. Now we can do go to the slightly more fun part of the level. I still don't love it, but it's better than that. I heard an enemy. You know what, I bet it was the, the pinkies that wake up when you enter this area. Maybe it was the Skakuri. I just don't know. Let's go in here. There's a crusher that will activate when you start walking in. Let's change down the Lost Souls because they suck. We should save our chain gun ammo, actually. There are gonna be a lot more where those came from. Dodged the crusher. Very nice. There is another light visor in here, I believe. I feel like something's broken. There should not be doors opening and closing right now. Cheesy Doom, why have you forsaken me? Or maybe there is an enemy I missed. Definitely switching back to PR Boom for episode 3. This experience is not great. Alright, let's go in here. Reveal more lost souls! Yeah! That's what we like to see. And... Pain. Pain incarnate. It's the Lost Soul Kakodemon combo. But the Lost Soul has no sense of aim or direction, so... So I guess that's good. Alright, let's grab some more shells. Come back out here. Are we done? No, we have to go to the, the quote-unquote exit. Remember the exit was like actually at the beginning of the map, sort of? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this isn't exactly fun, but I'm saving the cells for the barons. There are still more. Don't worry. Alrighty. Let's grab the medkit first so we get max HP. There we go. Very handy. Is this still mega armor? I think it is. Alright. Let's figure out who's opening doors over here because it's very annoying. It's a pinky. It's multiple pinkies. Does that mean the Baron's in here? Where is he? Don't tell me he's in here. Oh my god, he's in here. Aren't you supposed to be deaf? And like, not wake up randomly? And now they're scattered throughout here, right? Yep. Oh yeah, we have a rocket launcher. Ouch. Jerk. Three pinkies remain. One pinky. Where is he? This'll be fun. I'm pretty sure this is Jeezy Doom's fault. Just saying. Thought I heard something. Might as well. He's probably in the maze. God, I hate the maze. Well, if we must go, we must go. We'll use the rocket launcher on him. I'm mad. Or maybe it's one of the, like, deaf enemies in here. No, that's where the plasma was. I could have sworn that I've explored it all. The worst part is I can't even hear him. yourself. Is he in the pain hallway? Where you have to like hurt yourself? I'm not sure why he would be, but you know. I guess it was good. Is there an enemy in the exit area? No, there's not. Is he in here? this a chainsaw it's not even a secret I never knew about that let's go for the areas that we've never quite looked at like here around the corner oh my god there he is we did it okay okay we're done with this level let's get out of the Freaking maze. Come on. <sighs> okay, that is E2M6. Very cool level. Thank you, game. Here's E2M7. I think it's a little better. I enjoy it more, personally. 
Let's start out by going this away. Ouch. I ignored you for one reason and one reason only, and that's because I don't have a good weapon to, be, to fight you with. But in here we will get one. It's called Berserk. Uh, here it is. Now we punch. this area. Let's go grab a key. Why don't we? There's a Baron in here, by the way. Let's make him in fight the Kakos. Very nice. Double Kako Demons. Okay. Let's open up this area. It's a room that is otherwise pointless, but has some nice ammo for us. Ammo that we can't really use. Hmm. Very convenient, Kaka Demon. I, you know what? It's even fine that we took that damage because there's a medkit right there. Very cool. Let's also go in here and deal with the imps. Here's a secret. Why is it a secret? I don't know, don't ask me. So by the way, when you enter this room, this wall closes behind you. It's a timed wall. So if you're playing with monsters off for whatever stupid reason, I mean, I've done it for legitimate reasons, but you know, then just be aware that that wall is timed. There's no switch you have to press. Let's not grab that. By the way, there's another Baron around the corner here. There he is. Let's punch him. That's the pistol. Let's also go grab this secret around the corner here. Come on, die. Actually, it's two secrets. Because this switch here is a secret for some reason. Also, there's a weird weapon there. I've never seen it before. rocket launcher. We need the red key for... Come on, dude. Be cool. Alright. Hey, where'd you come from? Now, I'm just remembering in the route uh, that I've gone the wrong way. Yes, indeed. The wrong way. Let's go the right way instead. That'd be neat. Might as well grab that now. Also, that pinky is blind. You may have noticed that he didn't wake up when I opened the door. Alrighty. Let's first go this way. I believe. 
No, no. First we go this way. See, but the nice thing about this map is it's fairly it's fairly compact. I mean, it's big, but the individual rooms are nice and small, and you can navigate them well. And they're memorable, you know? Like, this room looks neat. Like, I would remember this room if I needed to come back to it. Because it's got this weird area, you know? It's a memorable, a memorable layout, for sure. The maze is not memorable, it's just annoying. Sorry, Tom Hall. I know you made a maze. The thing is, Tom Hall's made good mazes, but that is not one of them. There's nothing in this room, by the way. I'm not really sure why it exists. Here's the other side of that area that we peeked in on. Just for some context, I guess, if you care. This will lower the red key for us. And now we can pretty much exit. I haven't been in here yet, that's important. There's a cacko demon around the corner. So, first up on the docket, we are going to go in here, go through the teleporter, wake up more pinkies that I didn't know were in this level. That's cool, I guess. Press the switch, press the other switch, and there we go, that's one secret. And then the other secret is all the way back at the beginning of the level, if you can believe it. So, actually, what's happened here is, is this switch that was right here, yeah, and the switch that is in the teleporter area, those two are both required in order to access this secret. So it requires some pretty solid knowledge of the level, or at least some solid exploration. I like that secret. I think it's cool. It is a bit abstract, though. It's just like, go in this random area, I guess. Also, I just remembered that I totally forgot to uh, use that weapon at all. Also, we forgot a room. Thank you, minimap. It's this room. We got him. Alright, we can exit. That means we are going to a boss fight. Yes, sir. Alright, here's the infamous E2 M8. Cyber Demon fight. Wrong way. I'm trying to trip the door to close. You know what? Screw it. We'll get the rocket launcher from the outside. It's over here. Just kidding, no it's not. Well, glad we opened that door. We'll also grab ourselves some rockets. And here's the rocket launcher. Sick, okay. Cyber Demon's on the other side. He may have gone in the area there. Nope. Ouch, that's a direct hit. So this is a rocket duel. It's extremely easy. You know what, I have to kill all the lost souls, because it's GZ Doom. That's interesting, I guess. Let's go kill him. I actually enjoy this. Every last lost soul gets to die. Y even you. And you. I think you can hide or something. Get out of here. Can you get out of the area with the soul sphere that I want? 
Although actually we're missing quite a few lost souls. Not sure where they're hiding. Unless they're all in here. Get out of there, man. Come on. Ah! They do group up in here. Good thing we have plenty of rockets. More in here, I assume? Alright, that's everyone. Let's go kill the Cyberdemon. Like you do. Can you please get out of there? I'm not asking much. Thank you. And he's dead. That was neat. There we go. That is episode 2 of Doom. Some good levels, some terrible ones, but overall, I don't like this episode, but I don't hate it. It's got some good ones. Spawning Vats is definitely a highlight. Uh, Dymos Lab at E2M1, great level, love it. Um, the Cyber Demon fight is pretty neat. Would love if the Lost Souls didn't count. Jeezy Doom. But, yeah, that's it for episode 2. Thank you guys for watching, and we're going to move on to episode 3 next. So, see you then. Actually, before that, don't forget about the blooper reel. That's a thing. Alright, later. Alright, let's go to the next section. A lot more zombies to deal with here. Ah. We try again. You can see I have a lot of gravestones in here. This is where the real chaos happens. Let's go for that berserk. Don't want to die like this. And there it is. Let's start with the stuff that I can't punch. Kaku demons are punching not allowed. You, however, are punching for free. Oops. Oops! All right, let's let's uh let's be a little cautious. Can you die? You should be dead by now. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that could have killed me. That definitely killed me. Yep. Okay. We're not going to punch out Barons. Alright. No health. Sweet. Ah! And there it is. Baron. 